All right, here's the second one. Let's see what we got. Here is a Holmes 10 inch box fan with seven thin skinny blades. And it's rechargeable. The problem is they don't tell you how big the battery is. Which is really unfortunate. And very questionable. Just like that other fan I showed you. That camping fan, they claimed that it was a 40,000 milliamp. I looked all over that fan. I didn't see nothing look like, look like that. It, it wasn't on there. I looked throughout the manual. Nowhere in the manual do they even tell you that it's a 40,000 milliamp battery. So that's questionable, but... Time will tell. We'll see how long it actually lasts. The claim is a job site. But anyway, let's get back to this one. And let's open up this box fan and see what we got. All right, here is the USB, USB-C to USB-A adapter for charging and running the fan. Looks like the company don't really care that much about you because they did a number on the manual. It's not that bad. You can see where it's messed up just a little bit. Got some information right here. Pause the video if you care to read it. I don't know if you can see that. It's the best I can do. And there you go. No oil part. There's no hole that leads to the bearing. And it has a built in battery. USB-C, and where you can plug it in at. Well, let's see if the battery is charged enough to run it. So here we go. All right, there you go. Second time that happened. Same thing with the other one. Chinese bottles don't care to charge the battery. So just like the other one, let's try to plug it up and see what we got. Yesterday, a tractor hauling a load of camper 
seen right away. But the sun was down by the time he arrived. And he hit Fred pretty hard. He took all the railing from one side of the bridge right off the bridge to the other side. The location may direct too dangerous to tackle in the dark. Drivers have been stuck all night. Okay. I was looking for the uh, the charging light, and I found the charging light. All right, let's see if this box fan will run now. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. It's like I don't run it at uh, strong. The airflow is decent. I will give it that. It is moving air. Because the battery is not fully charged, apparently it's not going to let you, uh, it's not going to run up to full speed. Yep, that's brushless. That is brushless. I think that two amp adapter might be too strong for it. Let me see what the amperage is. They care to share that. Sometimes they don't even care to share that. Let's get the manual, man. Right? I could be using the wrong adapter. I don't want to shortage out the motor. Give me the specs like that. Doesn't even tell you how big the battery is. Let's see if it tells us. I don't understand why they want to tell you the amperage and all that stuff, the battery power. The second one. What the heck? What kind of mess is that? <sighs> Hold on one second. Okay, look, I'm going to get y'all back when I can get it together. Let's try it again and see what happens. Okay, so maybe it is a two amp adapter. And I got to plug into a one amp adapter, and this seems pretty weak. So let me plug it back into the two amp adapter. This thing seems pretty weak, but it is moving air. So I don't mean weak as in not moving air, but just weak as in power overall. But it is moving air. Hold on one second.
I hope you can hear the wind stream. Hopefully I'll eventually speed up. And our time is decent. All right, well, anyways, there you go. I guess that's just how it runs. High speed is not really high speed. At least it blows a gentle breeze. I don't know if it's just performing like that because it's waiting for the battery to be fully charged or what. It is what it is. There's that. There's the Holmes Bonds fan. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, both of them. The Bonds fan, man, and out. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.